Hey YouTube, this is Big Ray Twenty. Showing you guys um, the T515. I have two R112s right now in the Subaru. I'm gonna take them out, replace them for these. I scored a 46.7 with two Soundstream T1.4000 DLs. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these in and get them powered by the two. 4000s and see um, if I can gain. They have three inch voice coils, they have direct leads, triple stack magnets, and dual spiders on these subs here. These are some of the specs here. Rated for 1300 watts RMS, 2600 watts peak power or max power. Shows you all the specs here. Of the subwoofer itself, as well as the recommended sealed and ported enclosure size, and the measurements, the overall dimensions of the sub. I got my one year old son here. I'm just giving his little de demonstration of the, the sub. I actually already have one out of the box here. As you see, it has stitched surround on the cone. I like that. Nice, glossy tarantula spider with the sound stream in the middle. The direct leads. Very nice. Very nice subwoofer. Like I said, it's rated 1300 watts RMS. Three inch voice coil. There's a teammate with four of these and two 10Ks. You see my son over here giving his durability hey. test. Did it pass? Did it pass the test? Okay, it must have passed the test. Um, but yeah, teammate has four of these and an express van with two Soundstream XXX 10Ks doing 154s. I don't expect to get that loud in the Subaru, but... If we can get a 54 with entry level subs, that tells me these are pretty damn solid subs. So, I had T5s in the past and they were very loud, but I had the ones before they came up with a stitched cone and surround and before the direct leads, um, they had push terminals. Those are the ones I used to have. So, I'm looking, and those are very loud. I love them. So, I'm really looking forward to playing these and seeing how they sound in the Subaru. And uh, if I hit a 46.7 with two R112s, can't wait to see what I hit with these two here. I'm going to go ahead and pull them out the box. It's the second one here. Sorry, the camera's all shaky. I'm trying to do everything about one-handed. One but this is how it looks. Two Soundstream T515s. So stay tuned up for our upcoming videos. Going to have these in when I get a custom box. And uh, let's get them playing with the two Soundstream T1 4000 DLs. It's a uh, all Soundstream build. And as well as a budget build. So, kind of prove the prove a point that you don't need to break the bank to get loud. You don't need on them high end. You know, I, I do have high end subwoofers, but you know, better believe I'm not spending top dollar for these high end subwoofers because I mean, any sub can get loud. Any application can get loud if you have the the right equipment, the box, the electrical. Everything does plays a factor in it, but uh, yeah, like I said, I'm expecting to get loud with these two in the Subaru with the two Soundstream T1 4000 DLs. So just stay tuned. The T5s are definitely baby approved. 